Welcome to Blitz. I'm Brian Carr here at Habersham Central with fifth-year head coach of the Lady Raiders, Melissa Carroll. Melissa, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it and excited to have you on here to talk some Lady Raiders soccer. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, now, this has been a great season for the Lady Raiders, 6-5 and five overall, a couple of draws mixed in. Mm -hmm. uh, I know there have been some low points in the season, but definitely more, it seemed like more high points so far this year. Uh, talk about some of those high points and, and kind of where this team is expectation-wise from what you had coming in. Okay. Um, well, we knew ending last season, finding out we were going to be in this new region, we were already excited. Mm -hmm. um, we were keeping the majority of our team that was all, that, you know, they've, they've been good. A big group of seniors. Anytime you have an older team that's been working together for years, you, you, you're starting off at a higher point. Um, we are excited about moving into a six team region versus a 10 team region. We actually have more region games since we were doubling up each team, but we knew we could compete. Um, we started the season off with a scrimmage against Jackson County and won big, six to one. And Jackson County's only lost two mm -hmm. games the rest of the season. So we knew they were a strong team. And if we could compete that well against a team that strong, that we were ready, you know, for the sure. season. Um, so we, we lost some key players even before the season started. You know, we had both Perry girls, Riley and Sydney, both had injuries before we even got started. And then we lost our center, our starting center back from last year. Um, couldn't come back and play this year. So we were a little nervous about some spots that we were going to have to fill in. But we knew some, you know, people that were subs last year that had worked over, you know, off season that we could tell a big difference in. And there were some freshmen coming up that we were really excited about. Um, so we were excited just starting the season with the older group mm -hmm. and you know some of the freshmen that we already knew about that could you know enter into the team in starting positions even and step up and be big for us. Um, and some of the high points this year, beating Tequila, pretty huge accomplishment there. And then also second time in school history, locking down a spot in the state playoffs. That's a huge deal for this program. What does that mean for, you know, a lot of people just think, oh, yeah, they made a spot in the state playoffs. You know, they got their, their bid or their berth into there. But um, it, there's a ripple effect. I feel like it goes through the program and, and it sparks something for the future as well. Right. Um, We've been discouraged the past four years in the region that we were in. We were had we had to fight hard every single game, and we would end and afterwards like at the end of the season. I was like, I felt like it made us more prepared for this season. You know, we we were ready for anything. We'd been against the best in the state and the best in the mm -hmm. southeastern part of the country. We were ready for anything, and that. I think is what helped us ready, be ready for Decula. Um, such an exciting game. I remember yeah. the last 10 minutes I was pacing back and forth <laughs> and couldn't even look at the scoreboard because we were just up 2-1. Um, so proud of them. But, you know, just some other high points, you know, being down like against Winder, we got knocked down 2 nothing. And sometimes when you're down, it's hard to come back and compete. Second sure. half, we came back and put four on them really quick to, you know, win that game. The last time we played Winder to win that game is what helped us you know, for sure solidify our spot mm -hmm. into the region playoffs. At that point, we were third. And then since then, we've kind of knocked ourselves back into fourth, hopefully trying to end in that third spot. Right. Um, but only your top four teams can go into the mm -hmm. state playoffs. And so we for sure can be the top four just because our um, against Gainesville, we won and they won one, but we scored more goals yeah. against them. So that is what knocks us in front of them, luckily. Yeah. Um, so we're excited. Ab we absolutely. And this is the most uh, wins the team has had since 2011, I believe, when the team had seven. So, again, uh, one of the most exciting years in quite a while. Mm -hmm. And you've kind of seen this build up. Um, talk about that. What it's been like. You said these girls have put in that hard work over the last four years. Yeah. Um, so we have nine seniors this year, and the majority of them actually started as eighth graders. They came up and joined our JV program mm -hmm. and started as eighth graders on our JV program and had an incredible season that year. Um, we bumped three or four of them up by freshman year starting varsity. Um, and then, you know, we've just been able to build them and keep them together and you know we had some more a few there was the 10th and 11th grade classes in as big so there weren't as many um and then we had some freshmen that popped up into that spot but we we've worked we put the time in you know summer soccer sessions we've done some 7v7s in the summer and then we started conditioning way back in october just to start getting ready for this season because we you know the hopes were up and we we knew we yeah. could do something about it um, and it's also trickled down to the middle school i don't know if you heard boys and girls both won did, first place that, yeah. in awesome. their um tournaments. That's, that's one of those ripple effect things too the excitement in the program uh, and th this has been a testament to the girls before that have already graduated kind of helped get to this point as well uh give us some some key players that, that you know kind of stand out this year I know you would love to mention the whole team yeah. but uh, who are some players that really have stepped up big this year offensively and defensively uh, like uh, my starting 11 it's a strong it's one of the most exciting like all starting mm -hmm. 11 I knew we had every spot covered um, 
I've been very proud of Skyler, um, our goalkeeper. She's been a starter for three years, but this year she's just seemed to figure it out. I mean, we've been able to play the ball back to her, which is huge. And when you can play, you can include your goalkeeper in on the attack. Um, her punts are going 60 yards, you know, and that helps with our attack. So I've been very proud of her. Um, offensively, we have so many. I mean, we've got forwards with Aaron, Motsi, both. They're so fast and they can, you know, we can just send the ball up and they can speed past anybody. Um, Kendra's probably been our key. Kendra Purdy's been our key mm -hmm. player. She's up to, I think, 16 goals and about five assists on the yeah. season, which is amazing. She's just got this left foot shot outside the 18-yard box. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, we got Olivia outright, just her speed, and she's got some great crosses. And then our powerhouses in the middle have been uh, Brooke, and mm -hmm. that you interviewed Brooke Loggins and Lexi Dean and then uh, Lindsay Lowell and they're yeah. just they're just great soccer players they're aggressive they can feed the ball well um, defensively we're strong with you know three very strong players back in the back but our biggest one from that has been our freshman Lauren McIntyre mm -hmm. she's been our center back and has just saved us in so many situations because she can run down anybody um, in fact she wasn't at our Gainesville game and I feel like our loss kind of became yeah. because we didn't have her and she kind of calms us down and keeps everything working in motion and she cramps a lot and so when she has to come out because yeah. of cramps we can we easily get scored on so yeah. she she's a huge part of the team so I'm just proud of every one of them absolutely and they have a well-earned uh, spring break and mm -hmm. unlike a lot of teams uh, the way the scheduling worked out you get them a break where they don't have to play any games during spring break which is huge um, other sports don't have that luxury you know baseball they seem like they got to play through it but um, how do you keep there's got to be that perfect balance keeping the girls sharp and focused and then also giving them that break to heal up and just just have some rest Right. Well, this week actually ended up being a down week because most of the other schools had spring break this week, and so we okay. couldn't really play the games. Luckily, we ended up with the Appalachian game on Tuesday, and it was actually scheduled before, and we looked out with the weather that we could play it this week. So this week was kind of the week I kind of wanted a down week, and then next week with spring break, we're hoping to still get in three or four practices, and not really hard, tough practices, right. you know, still give them that spring break. Um, but still get together and work so sure. we're not getting out of shape or so we're ready yeah. for it because we've got three games when we come back so we gotta be ready. and they're all going to be intense like you said you want to get that three spot if you can uh last question for you um just kind of talk about uh you know as the season's approaching its end you, you are looking forward to the state playoffs uh, so what would it take realistically for this team to make a run that goes past that first round? I know uh, ultimately you want to get to the state playoffs, but I know you guys aren't complacent. You're not done yet. You want to get further than that. Of course, at the moment, we're starting off with Harrison, which is the number one team, um, the way the rankings are looking right now, and they're the number one team in the state right now. Um, so with that against us, we know we've got to work hard. Yeah. We can't just lay off and be like, oh, we can breeze through that first round. Um, but we know we can do it. Mm -hmm. We feel like they're just as equivalent as Dekula, and we beat Dekula. So uh, we we believe in ourselves, and you know, we're, but we have to put in the work to make sure that we're ready for it. And there's a few things that we've been able to watch um, just in video watching and things that we know we can work on um, to kind of sh hopefully yeah. shut down. They've got a strong passing game to yeah. hopefully shut that down a little more. Yeah, maybe you can exploit their weaknesses and, and hopefully. But then again, you could get the three seed, which may yes. shake that whole thing up anyway. Yes. But thank you so much again for your time. Really appreciate it. Excited for, the, for your girls' team and for you and, and the hard work you put in is finally paying off. Uh, congratulations and can't wait to see how it all unfolds. Thank you very much. Make sure you check out a pair of the trio seniors here on the Lady Raiders on Blitz.